on average were working longer hours and taking shorter breaks off work. So we all love holidays, but if we had more time off, would that rest mean we'd be more productive? If you work more than eight hours a day on whatever job you do, then you're losing your focus, you're getting tired, you're making mistakes, and that becomes dangerous for everyone involved. It's a presenteeism issue rather than actually being productive when they're there, do the job, go home. Ultimately, if you're working less hours, you've still got to get the product out the door. So you've got to be more focused. You've got, you haven't got that time to, uh, to mess around and be distracted. The economic output per worker, known as productivity, is often lower in countries which take fewer public holidays. France, for example, has 11 bank holidays, but a much higher productivity than Britain, which has only eight formal working days off. So do days off enable us to work harder throughout the year? Well, a shorter working week can help us address the connected challenges of overwork and underwork. People are more productive, they uh, take fewer days off in sick leave, they're, um, they're more loyal to their jobs uh, and less stressed. Of course, public holidays are quite distinct from paid holidays from your job. American firms are not obliged to give even a single day off to staff, but usually give them two weeks. That's almost a third of the number of days paid for by Belgian employers, yet both have similar levels of productivity. Britain lags behind both of those countries, so could a four or even three day working week be the solution? Productivity has remained a bit of a puzzle in the story of Britain's economic recovery um, because it has actually remained quite stubbornly low. Um, so there will be ways to, to tackle that, I think, but um, slicing 24 or 48 hours out of the working week and giving everybody sort of perpetual bank holidays um, is not the right way to go about it.